Good morning, sweet souls. Happy 2018 to you. I hope that you had a lovely New Year's Eve and you're going to have a bright and beautiful New Year's Day. I know you will because every day is what you make of it. And I know you people. You awesome people always seem to make the best of everything. And I appreciate this community. I appreciate how sweet you guys are um, in your comments. And, you know, you're chatting with each other now. And I just think that's so awesome. It makes me happy. I have two little gypsy journals that I finished on New Year's Eve. So we'll call these New Year's Eve gypsy journals. I also, I wanted to show you guys, um, while I was thinking about it, the washi tape that I picked up at Lidl. Um, I'm, I'm very fond of Lidl. Um, I think that they have excellent prices, especially on bread and cheese, which is... Um, uh, not that I subsist on bread and cheese, but, you know, that we have a lot of sandwiches in this house. And it's nice to find a market that has good deals on bread and cheese. But this is the washi, um, it's called festive tape, but it is washi tape. And I used it on these journals, and it is really great. So just be on the lookout for things that, you know, I it's, it's this time of year when things are marked down significantly. This was a dollar fifty, and I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight rolls of washi tape, and it is different, uh, different widths. And I thought it was so cool. I mean, you've got stars, you've got trees, you've got some gold here. These are just triangles, more stars, uh, snowflakes. This does say Merry Christmas, but, you know, so what? you got seven uh, pieces of washi tape that are super usable right now. And, of course, if you don't, uh, if you're not going out or not going shopping like me, um, I usually go out like once a week and, and go to the post office in the market, and that's kind of my shopping uh, at this time of year. But just kind of keep your eyes out for those kind of super cool deals that... Um, that you might find. All right, let's take a look at these journals. Let's start with Miss Purple here. Uh, she is finished off with some random beads. Um, some of them are plastic because someone sent me a necklace and I tore that apart and it did have some plastic beads on it, but many, many are the super cool glass beads that I've been using for some time. And it does have amethyst chips scattered, uh, throughout this little bead binding here. Of course, Gypsy Journals are about an inward journey, and since it's the very beginning of the year, a Gypsy Journal would be, you know, a place to log your hopes and dreams and aspirations. It might encourage you to go and explore and do things. Now, remember, Gypsies travel by... Um, I think those things are called Vardos, right? A Vardo is like a covered wagon that a gypsy would live in and also travel in. But you can create all kinds of travels just inside your head, you know, just by using your imagination. So just consider that when you see a word like go. Um, we're talking about story, of course. And I think your book is has a charm on it that says fun. So what brings you fun? What brings you pleasure? What are things that you love to do? Sorry, my camera was um, was doing that mysterious thing that it sometimes does, which is <laughs> it just starts moving of its own accord. So sorry about that. I'll stand up and make sure it doesn't do that again. So we're focusing on story. We've got a skinny book. These are the the papers that I started out with white paper and just sprayed it. Lots of places to draw. This is 80 pound drawing paper and lots of places to write. You have some graph paper here as well as lined paper. Um, your first prompt says, well done. What did you do that was well done this year? Did you congratulate yourself? Today is the day. I love this because it reminds me of the best uh, exotic Marigold Hotel when one of the characters is, I think it's Gordon, is 
attending a retirement party for one of his friends and he's always longed to go back to India and visit the love of his life and all of a sudden in the middle of this retirement party Gordon says today is the day today is the day and he leaves the party leaves everything and goes back to India and has a grand adventure and there's your little book that says fun friend do you have friends? Are you a good friend? Um, you can talk about your friends in this little book. And maybe you're like me. I have really, really good friends, but my friend circle is super small. But I have neglected my friend circle, so I need to work a little harder on this this year. I need to stay in touch with my friends better. I love them. We're all artists. <laughs> And, um, you know, I mean, when you're doing an art thing, sometimes it's just hard to have free time. Uh, it's hard for anybody to have free time. As girl people, we seem to be, uh, you know, overscheduled. Keep it simple. This is a big thing for me this year. I have uh, already started a list about how I can simplify. M my thing is chores. You know, how can I simplify my home chores? So this is something that I'm already working on. This little thing says, enjoy life. And that's another thing I'm working on. I'm working on not working so much <laughs> and enjoying life a little more. I live in Richmond, Virginia, and there's a lot to do here. Um, there's a lot to see, and I need to kind of work on that. You know, I need to, to get out more and do more things. I have a great opportunity in a great city to do things in. A circle of friends, you know, basically the same thing that we were talking about a while ago. These two prompts say the simple things and discover the magic. Mm, there's magic everywhere in every day in every situation there's some magic I think everybody needs a pair of wings so I've included some wings in here a pretty little sparkly flower for you to be inspired by and here's a quote right here that says you're my inspiration you guys really are my inspiration so many times, like your comments or your questions really do inspire me to, um, to, to create something new or something different or something, you know, even record a video that I think might be applicable to, um, to a situation. It's, you guys are really inspirations, and I know that you inspire me, but I, I'm positive sure you inspire other people too. Everybody needs a gold star because everyone, you remember when you used to get these in school <laughs> or maybe when you did your chores at home and you got a gold star, it is such a, it still has a lot of meaning for me. It still is very significant. So there's a gold star for you. Good job. Follow your heart friendship and the papers in here this one's already distressed friends dream what are you going to dream about this year what are you going to dream and do don't just dream it do it life's defining moments i've had a lot of defining moments in 2017 and i know that you guys have had defining moments too it's those moments that you can't forget growth begins at the end of your comfort zone so you got to step out a little bit and grow and get out of the things that get out of the routine. Maybe just drive, you know, a different route to somewhere. That is getting out of your routine. Maybe just take a walk down the block. That is getting out of your routine. Or it is for me. Um, I don't get outside when it's this cold and I need to... Um, I need to do that because I enjoy being outside. I enjoy fresh air, but darn, it's really, it's hard to get motivated when it's eight degrees outside. Um, a heart, one year older, and birthday. Is there something significant about your birthday this year? Mine, I am going to be 60 this year, and I think that that is a... Uh, that's a pretty significant birthday. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm laughing, but on the inside, I'm not. I'm kidding, you guys. This little gypsy journal is called Believe, and your book is also titled Believe. She has just a random smattering of sparkly things on her spine. Lots of, of fibers for you to play with up here. 
And I thought that um, I just kind of randomly stuck the, the closure brad on here, and then I realized it was a zero, and I thought, well, that's kind of cool, because we're kind of all starting at zero now. You know, we're starting all over again with a new year and new frontiers and new opportunities. The good life starts you out, and of course we have story, and let's see where your book is. There it is right there. And the charm on your book says believe. Now, this is a kind of a shiny book, but I really do like it. Um, I like shiny things. I think they're pretty. And we have drawing paper for you, writing paper for you. This little pocket says believe in yourself always. This one says adore. This one says reminisce. I'm not so good at reminiscing. Sometimes when I reminisce, I reminisce about unpleasant things. That's something that needs to change. I need to reminisce about things that make me happy and make me smile. Compadre, this is another little nod to friendship. Beauty, where do you find beauty? What do you find beautiful? And really start to cultivate beauty in your life. You know, find colors that you like. Find fabrics that you like, find patterns that you like, and just start to collect them all up. You know, this would be a, a great place to just do a collection in. Um, it has pockets, so collect stuff and put it in the pockets and start to remember your idea of beauty because sometimes that kind of gets pushed to the side uh, when we have kids and husbands and people to take care of in our lives and um, that, you know, that rediscovery of beauty is very enlightening. It's, it's, uh, it's, it, it makes you kind of have a, a, a nice warm feeling inside when you start rediscovering beauty. And, of course, wings, because we all need some. Make a wish. Blow out the candles. Another little nod to birthdays. Dear friend, genuinely, and there's a star for you, because you're always doing a good job. Great things come from small beginnings. No doubt about that. Got 80 pound drawing paper in here. Here are some small tags. Um, it's just an assortment and it's held together by a leaf brad. It's wonderful memories. Cinderella, she just jumped in here all of a sudden. Um, I had some, some of these tags that my friend Judy gave me, and all of a sudden she just wants to be part of the party. So I was like, okay, you want to be part of the party? You can be part of the party. We always have a, you know, um, an, even me, and I'm not a very girly girl, I have kind of a Cinderella complex. You know, we, we watch people go through a metamorphosis and have beautiful clothing and, you know, all that good stuff. Whether it's Pretty Woman or Cinderella or, um, you know, I, I think about other movies that have that um, Cinderella kind of complex in it. Um, you did it. You did it. You managed to get through 2017. You're right at the cusp of 2018. So good job. And then another little prompt for you says defining moments. And I think it's good to kind of recapitulate and find those defining moments, things that maybe um, encouraged you to change your life or change the way that you do certain things or change the way you think. Good gracious. I've had a big, uh, uh, I've had a big think differently kind of thing, uh, especially since November. I, it's hard to explain how kind of my thinking has just gotten um, freshened up. Uh, and I, I think it's because I listen to a lot of Abraham. I listen to a lot of Esther Hicks. I read a lot of inspirational books. Um, I watch inspirational things. Right now I'm watching The Power of Myth by Joseph Campbell. And if you know if you're if you're thinking of uh, you know if you're thinking of trying to change your thought patterns, there's the, all of those above are very good. Deepak Chopra is really really good. Um, all those things are very significant and can really help you. So two little gypsy journals, twenty dollars going in the store today. I have a few more that I'm going to be working on throughout the day. So and I'm going to cook. We're going to have. Um, 
uh, black eyed peas, of course, and some sauteed spinach for our greens. You know, it's a very southern thing, and I think there's a um, there's a ham downstairs. So I'm definitely going to be good doing some cooking today, which I um, I enjoy cooking. It's uh, it's it's nice to be able to know how to cook, and and there's never a time in my kitchen. And sometimes I get really aggravated. I'm like cleaning up, and I'm going, oh my gosh, you know, there's only two of us. Why do we have so di so many dishes? And then I realize as I'm standing at the sink washing my dishes and feeling that warm water cascading over my hands, and you know. Dirty dishes and you standing at your sink doing dirty dishes means that you fed someone today. And that's significant. So give yourself credit where credit is due, folks. You're girl people. You are mighty women. Okay, have a great New Year's Day. And I will talk to y'all a little later this afternoon or tomorrow. Happy 2018, everybody. Talk to you soon. Bye.